Hey guys, so I have had this for like the longest time. It's this beautiful, beautiful purse clasp. And I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper. I bought this a long, long time ago. It's been sitting in a box, waiting to be made into something really pretty. So I thought we would make a beautiful change purse. So I've drawn out some designs right here. I have one like this where the purse is kind of rounded, but I really think I like this one best where it kind of pooches out on the sides. So I'm going to cut out this one and use it as a pattern. I also drew a little flower motif. It's not going to look exactly like that. This is the general idea of what I want to do for my embroidery pattern on this purse. This is the color I'm going to use because I think it'll look very nice and Victorian. And here are some of my colors. It looks really rainbowy right now, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use all of the colors. We're just going to see where we land with this because that's kind of how I work. I just gather what I think I'll need and um, kind of make it up as I go. So let's do this. But the first thing I have to do is cut out my pattern. Okay, there we go. Now, of course, I need to add a seam allowance around this. Okay, there we go. We have a little bit of a seam allowance. I'm not sure that I actually need this one up here. I think that I don't because it already had a seam allowance. I think I'm actually going to take it to there and go like this. Hopefully this works because I don't think I need all of this after all. Like that. that might work. Okay, now let's make another one. So if we're going to have this like that, and this is going to be our purse, let's draw our design. I'm going to try to be kind of close to this as possible. I'm going to use my invisible ink pen, and then I can embroider the design on it. I think that's pretty much going to be it. Now I'm going to make the pattern on this one too. Now we have two and they're not twins but they're sisters. Now it's time to embroider.
Okay, I have both of these finished front and back. And when I put it with this, it looks really cute, but it also looks like this is really empty up here. So I wanna put a little motif up here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't really quite look right. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I was playing around a little bit and I think that this would look really cute as the finished product. So I'm going to add these little roses on top. So now with the right sides together, I'm going to sew along this edge to this point and this point, and this is going to be left open up here. Okay, so I've sewn around here and now I'm just gonna clip the edges a little bit to make sure they can bend. Now let's turn it inside out. Oh, there we go. There's the beginning of our little purse. Okay, so now we're going to open this up. And we're going to start sewing along the edges to get this to go in there. So now I'm going to start in this corner and just work my way around. It's pretty simple, actually. And that's it. Now we have a cute little coin purse that opens and closes and you can put anything you want inside. These are really fun and easy to make and they're just really cute. And I love that it has a Victorian old fashioned style. I really love using felt on this because it's sturdy, but it's also very easy to work with because you're not working with seams and, and you can just kind of have fun with it. Okay guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.